Well, it is Friday, the final day of this new project I'm on, and eh, I drive, uh, well, first of all, I get a phone call and, uh, from the puppet master, and uh, he says uh, that just keep running these boxes, said about half of them empty out. But uh, either way, if it gets rejected, I get paid for it coming back. The full price, basically. Easy money. So I'm like, all right, sounds good to me. So I get down there and, uh, you know, go grab this box. First of all, the, the damn hose on the box wasn't uh, covered. So I had to use what tape I had left to cover it. Ran out, had to use a rag to finish it. And uh, also, it had placards. And some Einstein puts a company logo over an eighth or maybe a fourth of the placard on the nose, the box, which just ruined that placard. So I had to cover that up. And, uh, so my drop and grabbing the box and all that took about two hours. And so I drive four hours up and it's four hours, but well, three, a little over three up, three down. Uh, I get up there and, uh, <clears throat> get there in record times because the virus up there is, uh, everyone's actually staying home in Michigan, unlike Ohio. And, uh, so I get up there, and, uh, my appointment's at 5.50. Well, they didn't start to unload me till about almost 7. <clears throat> get back in there, and the sun chains milk them off. They're rested, frozen. So we're using my breaker bar, and, uh, this other guy's helping me. He, get, he hits himself in the head with my bar, so that was nice. And, uh, so, yeah, I decided, nope, I'm taking it back. Yeah, I ain't dealing with this. I sit here all freaking day, and, and maybe the stuff will come out, maybe not. And then I'll be waiting even longer to get my paperwork generated. So, uh, then I sat for another... I don't know, hour, hour and a half to get the paperwork sorted out. The guy that we're dealing with uh, calls me at one point. And clearly he's not a truck driver. He touches these boxes. He goes, well, is there any, any way to use a, some sort of machinery to open it? It's a ratchet. So now I realize when he asked me that question, what I'm dealing with. And uh, so I said, no, no, can't do that. I had to explain to him what the device was. And I had to send him photos. To boot. Um, so we get that screwed away in the conversation. So then he asked me my my experience with these back boxes, which uh, my experience with these back boxes has been one day, two if you count the day. Uh, what would be the best way to get this K O six one out? And I said, well, my experience, put a liner in it. Put a liner in it. So, maybe he'll listen to me. They'll put a liner in these boxes. Because it should have a liner. Because K061 sticks to everything. Everything. Real nasty material. Um, <clears throat> so, that was pretty much the uh, gist of the conversation. I just now got back to Canton. And is almost one. I'm uh, tired irritable made some easy money I guess um yeah 
So now they've canceled all my loads. All the loads has my loads are canceled. So now Monday I gotta take this box back. And now I don't know what I'm doing next week. They're laying off drivers. I had uh, there was gonna be two other drivers running this stuff. And uh I don't know they called off the other driver. The other guy took Monday off. So now, now I'm curious if I'm going to be laid off or not. Because it's bug. And, uh, yeah. And the other guy who's laid off, he's only making 400 a week. Of course, he was off. They had a big chunk of time off because of the death in the family. But, you know. So I got some, uh, Hopefully this works out. So, yeah. Have a good day.